Sudbury has been awesome. There's always uh, there's always a place to go for a beer. You know, if we wrap late or, or if we wrap early, we've got our spots around the town, and, and and the people are really nice to us here. You know, and we have these uh, casting calls for uh, background performers and stuff. We got a laundry list. This is my fourth time shooting in Sudbury now. Every day it's growing and growing. The experience level is amazing. The crews are fantastic here. We got a lot of great day players that are coming out. So it's uh, no every every every. Day that goes by, there's more and more experience, new experiences, and bigger shows that are coming in and out of the city. A lot of terrific crews, a lot of uh, people are really kind. We know it better. I know, I know the, which restaurants I like to go to more now. You know, I know where to get my coffee. The chicken wing game in 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 Sudbury is tight, 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 tight. I mean, the top three places for uh, for chicken wings in 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 Sudbury, I'd say, right, rival just about anywhere else. Look at these flavors, just 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 try these flavors on, okay? Frank's, Frank's butter hot, Frank's Cajun, lemon pepper soy. Mic drop. And the other thing is uh, at Tim Hortons, you notice they really fill the coffee right to the top. So there's nothing worse when you just want to get jacked up on caffeine in the morning and you got like that much, you know, that much empty space in your coffee. It gets me pretty rattled anyway. I kind of love it. You know, it's it's a small sort of it's a small big city, right? You come, you get to shoot this great TV show. You know, you get to hang out with your buddies. It's the summertime in Ontario. It's, you know, there's lakes everywhere. It's beautiful. People are nice. Uh, everybody sort of opens their doors. The really cool thing about it is, like, I've, I've played on travel hockey teams, and I've worked on films on location, and there's something special about living together away from home. But when you get home and you really want to go see your buddy, and you go and knock on their door, and their little latch is open because it's not meant to be locked, like, that's cool, man. I feel like I really do get to live summer camp every June out in, out in Sudbury. How's it going, folks? <laughs> I actually quite like it a lot. Uh, there's, uh, uh, the scenery's beautiful, you know, there's a lot to offer. It's got a lot to offer anybody coming here to, to work, realistically, or to travel. As an actor, it helps a lot because if we were doing this all in a studio or something in Vancouver or Toronto, you wouldn't get that authentic small town feel. And I think working with the crew and stuff, it's, there's like this camaraderie with each other in a small town that you, you kind of get, it does half the work for you, just being in the environment, being in the place, the smells, the certain tone that people speak. It's like you're in Letterkenny. I've really gotten to know Sudbury very well. I shot you know, three different projects up here last year, including Letterkenny. It's a university town and it's also an, an industry town, so it's got a lot of faces to it. Sudbury's actually like like a bunch of little little towns, I think, all all mashed together inside of a crater created by an asteroid or meteor, you know, if you're going to be a science dick about it. Um.